Well, guys, I did it again. What did I do? Well, you might have seen my older video where I spent $37,500 on an NFT. And you know what? I thought that was going to be the peak. We are seven days into 2022 and I have already spent $20,000 on a picture of a sushi. Here it is. Here it is right there. I got a JPEG of sushi. Of course, it's just not a picture. And hopefully this would not be my only best investment choice of 2022 because it's only been seven days in. Hopefully there are more investments to come that are like this, but it's going to be tough to top guys. Let's break it down for you. Before we break it down, I have to clarify my last video. I was wrong. It was not a $25 million sellout. They only sold half of the tokens and they held half for a later date, which means that it could be more than $25 million sellout because they sold out what 12.5 million based on today's Ethereum price. When they choose to sell the other 1500 tokens, that means it could be higher than 25 million because the Ethereum's at 4,000, 5,000 by then it's going to be a higher sellout. We're also going to clarify the gas war stuff that I couldn't find out earlier, show you what they're talking about in the Discord, and then pick some winners to win some NFTs at the end of this video. Let's go. I know I talked a lot about Fly Fish Club in my previous two videos, but this is going to be all new information, guys, because now we are a member, we are a holder. Which one did I get? Well, you obviously know I got the expensive one because it is $20,000. I will show it to you. What is it? It's the first private dining club ever. Dining for now it might turn into a Soho house type of vibe. The group that you know invested into this particular project has more on the way as well. Okay, we got Wagyu steak, oysters, and seafood, all which I do not eat regularly because before 2021, I was a five-year vegan. Uh, I am not gonna touch meat unless it's a super special occasion. This could be one of them. Grand opening, fly me in. I will have some sushi then. Right now, they are just in New York City for now, but right in the Discord, people are already trying to recruit from Miami, San Francisco, the big cities. It's not only just sushi, though. They have an international seafood cuisine. They also have stuff from Chile and South America. Very diverse chefs. The omakase, of course, is Japanese. That's going to be a special. I'll show it to you right now. All right, here's a restaurant space. It might not look exactly like this, but here's the cool part. Cocktail lounge. Now, this will probably be members only. I can't imagine them opening this to the public. And they also have an outdoor one. They, they're probably going to show that later on. This is the dining room experience. And then here in the tucked in the back, only 14 seats in omokase experience. What's omokase? Basically, there's no menu. You're going to get a full course, whatever it is, eight, seven, nine, whatever course it is, whatever the chef feels like that day, there's going to shove food in front of you and you eat it. I don't remember the last time I've had an omokase meal. Maybe never. I've had set dining uh, meals before, which is like set courses. But omakase, I don't think I've ever had it. Full disclosure, just like Artifact, I went in with the same friends that got me the Artifact and the Clone X. We actually used the treasury where we sold our Clone X human. Rest in peace, Clone X human. But we got a, we upgraded to omakase in real life experience. So Clone X human boy, your sacrifice was not in vain. We'll, we'll compete to see which floor goes higher. Right now, the omakase floor is higher than the Clone X. But you know, you don't, we don't know which one's going to be. We'll see. It's going to be an interesting race. I didn't notice, but the cocktail lounge, no reservation required. You can go in there. Man, it's very interesting because you could bring eight friends. How many friends can you bring to the cocktail lounge? Because if everyone could bring somebody, it's going to be a party in the cocktail lounge because you don't need reservations and everyone can experience this really cool NFT restaurant. Yo, I used to live in New York, New Jersey for 13 years. So I have some friends out there. If you want to come, you know, I'll let you guys know when this, we don't, it's not even open yet. 2023. I'm actually getting married this year. I'm taking three trips over to the East Coast. I would like to see just the location, even if it's not, you know, uh, built out yet, just to experience it and take pictures for YouTube. All right, here we go. Main dining room is 150 seats. Is that a lot? I, I don't know. It sounds like a lot. I have nothing to compare to. I'll Google something and maybe we can see what that open floor plan looks like. Uh, P.O.P.O. and Restaurant Row, uh, Restaurant Avenue, uh, Restaurant Row, I forgot what it's called. I haven't been in New York so long. It has a really big seating as well. It might be similar to P.O.P.O. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's on 43rd Street and what is it, 11th? Oh man, it's been, it's been a while since I've been there. Amazing Peruvian chicken, P.O.P.O. Pio. But a members only 150 seat open dining experience is pretty interesting. All right, lastly, here we go. Omokaze transportive experience. Transportive, because they literally fly in fish daily from Japan. And well, in another document, they say they fly from the exclusive province of Japan where it's known for sushi. I forgot the name of it. Is it Tsuki Market? I don't know. I've been there actually physically myself. So it's really, really, really good. I'll make you guys a deal. If you subscribe, comment, and like this video, I'll raffle a free 
least for a month. No, I'm not going to do that. But if you comment, subscribe, and like the video, I'll put you on the list for the discounted leasing when the restaurant opens. So, you know, you got to follow and watch all my videos for one entire year. Okay, NFT peeps, roadmap time. But however, this roadmap will be delivered on because this is a physical location with contracts and all that stuff. So they have a actual roadmap. I totally missed this, but Gary Vee was on CNBC talking about this in August. I don't think it would matter because, you know, it's private sale. They had a private sale to investors and partners and contributors. I don't think I would have made that list. I mean, I have some pool, like I know some friends in New York, but I don't think they would have got me into the private round of this. It would have been cool though, um, you know, but I mean, I'm on not that level yet, maybe this year, end of this year. All right, Q1 2022 identify and secure real estate in new york city so earlier in my other video i was really scared about them you know developing and getting permits but not the more that i think about it uh these guys have relationships they've opened restaurants in new york city they know the people they if you know the people you could get things moving where would be a good place let me think chelsea is nice they have more economy there already though greenwich is nice uh, let me think about this where would this absolutely fit into I like meatpacking. It's the hip area. It's the younger area. And I think that caters well to the crowd. Well, I don't know what crowd they're targeting. It could be old finance people in Washington. But NFT people are probably not old. Uh, um, you know, older people are a little bit younger. So making my vote and bid for meatpacking area, uh, final answer. In January 3rd, which is a couple of days ago, they launched a Discord. I'm actually in the private Discord now, which is very expensive. Uh, it costs $20,000 to get into that exclusive channel, but they have general channels as well. And here's something I would have never learned unless I entered the Fly Fish Club exclusive lounge. And that is that you have to delist your OpenSea NFTs properly. Because if you don't, there's a glitch. And bam, right there, someone had a board ape listed for five ETH, transferred it out to cancel the listing, or maybe just transferred it out, and they never executed a cancellation on their sell price, moved it back into OpenSea. Bam, someone bought it for five ETH. Woo, Basie for five ETH, I'll pony up for that any day. All right, Miami private boat party exclusive and complimentary for the first 75 people to sign up. This is interesting because there is a NFT conference held by one of my Discord friends, DecentralCon, uh, Decentral, I'll do a video, I'll interview him. I'm probably butchering it right now, but the first 75 members to sign up would go on a yacht party with Gary V. Oh, I have an excuse to fly out. Hopefully it's in April because that's when the conference is. If it's in February next month, March, I ain't making it. <laughs> but I will be out in New York though. So if you guys want to hit a boy up and treat him out to dinner, let me know. I cannot imagine Gary V not living up to this roadmap. They have to deliver on this. Have to, have to. And of course he will, right? Monthly, monthly roadmap 2022 begins in March. So 10x in 2022. So 10 times. Okay. So they're saying, I was like 10x the price of, of what I bought it for. I, that would probably happen too. Virtual cooking demonstrations by Chef Capon exclusively and complimentary for the first 200 members each month. Interesting. Okay, well, I am not signing up because I don't eat meat. <laughs> I will, you know, maybe I'll go and record it. No, I don't want to get kicked out. No, I won't do that. You have to be exclusive for that. All right, this is pretty crazy. I didn't even know this private omakase tasting for their Ito restaurant. Where's their Ito restaurant at? It seems like they have a, re have a restaurant already up. Oh my God, I did not know that. I thought Ito was a concept. Details to soon follow. Food and beverage costs paid at the time of visit. Oh my gosh. Okay, Ito looks absolutely amazing. It is open already in Tribeca, which is close to Chinatown. So fine with me. I love Chinatown, the soup dumplings there. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see there that it says Ito built in partnership with VCR Group. So this is the already opened Omakase Ito in Tribeca near Verse. Okay, yes, I. And I know exactly where that is. I am going to have to try to make this tasting. Me and wifey getting married this year. Got to go celebrate. We're going to be in the East Coast anyways. Let's make it happen, Gary. Let, you can have dinner with me, Gary. No problem. No problem. This tells you how bullish I am on this project because I didn't even go through the whole roadmap and I was already down to get this NFT on the drop. I would, I should have went in on two pools. In fact, actually, I did have two pools going, but we did not get the other one because I did not want to get the regular uh, fly fish. I wanted two omakases. We were priced out of the second omakase. Yo, every four months, wine tastings of Gary V exclusively for the first 500 signups. I'm flying out. I'm flying out. 
tax write off for my business anyways right let's do it in may which is my birthday minneapolis private event okay i just interviewed uh collectors club and during minneapolis maybe i don't know we can do something we'll see first 100 exclusive complimentary private event at the vcon conference boy i'm i don't think i'll be flying there but you know maybe i can hook someone up if you're in minneapolis shout me out shout me out july august time summertime in the hamptons is popping i've been there one time for a private jet event i used to work for a private jet company and i went there with blue star jets giving them a small shout out i don't hamptons is not my style but if you like polo you like hang out with uber rich people it's really far long island like at the tip of the island and maybe that's why people like to go there because it's exclusive i probably won't go there this doesn't flow my boat but you know i'll lease it to you guys i'll lease it for whoever wants to go up out there in hamptons you know 500 bucks no not a problem not a problem a winter restaurant pop-up event exclusive for man so there's gonna be a lot of stuff before the restaurant even opens i was so stuck on you know oh we're not gonna have you to all right so the price of these are not going down <laughs> okay i i am wrong i thought in my previous video that you know fud right like construction the illness uh not having real adopters just flippers i i dug myself a hole in that last video i should go back and erase the last video ffc opens to our members community wow we are jam-packed every month there's something you see this is a master marketer this is how nft projects need to be and nft projects do have that but it's all the same stuff right it's like oh we're dropping merch we're dropping a token we're dropping um like a free airdrop of another nft which is great but it's all redundant it's all the same this stuff though a little bit different yacht party wine tasting conference event dining event Woo -wee. i almost made a mistake of not buying one i'm so happy i did <laughs> ready to become a member click that button guys well here's the thing they have 1500 tokens that they did not release so there might be another chance for you to get one of these tokens they released 200 though 200 of these so there's only about maybe less than 185 left because some of it got launched in a private um let's hop head over over to OpenSea and check it out really really quickly all right friends today 203 omakase's dropped there's 309 in the market if you see right there I zoomed in 309 so we subtract that that means 106 were sold to private investors or airdropped or given for free so we take that 309 and minus what is it 385 that's left in the market that means only 76 omakases yes minus 385 that means only 76 omakases are left of this particular nft so if you have a chance to grab this for 4.25 then do it not financial advice do your own research i am not a financial advisor but let's take a look at the floor right now okay the floor for the regular ones are four the floor for the omakases right now are eight and it's very thin there's only 56 for sale out of the 300 after this week this is the first day after this week it will probably drop to less than 5-10% being sold out there. Thin floor, only 10 of them left until we hit close to a 9 ETH floor. Okay, 9. Okay, 8. When I checked this earlier, it was like 10 left. Now it's like 8 left to a 9 ETH floor. It's going to go all the way up to 9, 10, guys. And now that I've seen the roadmap, <laughs> I thought this was going to like go like this until the grand opening. But really, here's what's going to happen. It's going to go like this to this. And then pictures are going to come out from the yacht to that. Pictures are going to come out from V-Conference to that. It's, it's going to be it's going to be absolutely bonkers i think who knows I, it could go to zero i can lose all my money but here we are i am the hamachi fish omakase member number four one four hit up your boy right here two pieces we got two pieces not just one we got two and i wanted to show you uh th this is probably sold by a private investor or something that airdrop uh so we got this here and i was able to find the contract and actual purchases so this was bought by probably a speculator i don't know he might be a flipper i don't know he was able to mint two now i in my previous video i couldn't find a contract and i don't know why i still can't see it but i'm going to show you the contract i'm going to show you how much this guy spent on gas because i promise i would find how much you know gas was but definitely this person wanted to unload look at him he lowered the price 0. 6.8 6.4 6.5 to all the way down to 6.15 and that's when i got it if you saw my previous video at the end i went silent i went silent because i was doing all the numbers of the soho house comparison and how much roi or cash on cash return 
I compare it to real estate kind of, which is kind of funny. I would get on my membership and I went completely silent because I'm like recording the video about the mint wars and the mint lessons. And I went completely silent because I'm like, what am I doing? I need to get one of these right away. I was watching the price action live. I watched when it hit a bounce and when people are eating up that sell wall at a very particular price for the regular fly fish ones. So I went over to Omakase and I saw that people were not eating those up because of course it's a higher price point, but it was at a very low price of six ETH, which is very close to mint price. I had to pull the trigger because I saw it go down, almost touch six bucks. I can't wait because people are seeing this is very limited and I got one off of 6.15. So if I sold today, I would make two ETH today, $6,000 in one day. Not bad for one day. Now, I'm gonna talk to my friends. Do we wanna sell in one day for $6,000 profit? Wouldn't be bad. However, we can make in perpetuity if people really like the restaurant, if people like the ambiance, if people like this whole NFT restaurant thing, 6,000 a year. Now, that's not 6,000 a day, but you know, 6,000 a year is not bad for perpetuity. And that's just an, a guesstimate of $500 a month lease and it might not get rented all months. It might be more, it might be higher like Airbnb, Christmas time, uh, Thanksgiving time. It could be very, very coveted during those times if there's an event uh, like the VCon and people want to go there, but it's only offered to holders like me. Could be very valuable then. If Gary V's there, he's like, hey guys, I'm going to be at Fly Fish Club, wherever it's at, Chelsea Market, uh, Meatpacking, uh, this day, this night. It could be highly coveted or maybe not Gary V. Fine. It's like if KD is going to be in town. If you want to do an omakase with KD, hit up your boy. And actually, no, I might fly out there because, you know, he did play for the Golden State Warriors. I got love for him. He wants two chips. Thank you, KD. Side note, I'm really liking the Warriors this year. They were playing really good basketball without KD. We went back to 2015, 2016 Warriors. Love it. Love it. I am completely off track. All right. So we click this uh, transaction right here. It'll bring you to the next page. Let me show you that which is right here. So you can see that this transaction happened seven hours and 32 minutes ago. So this is the one that I bought. I bought it for 6.1 ETH right there. And you can see um, that we spent, you know, $20,000 for it pretty much gas price. Gui was very low, 200 bucks to transfer this. I was curious, so I clicked into the person from who transferred it to me to see, you know, if he's a bot. I was curious if he's a bot, how much he paid for gas because I wanted to report to you guys. It's all public anyways. And let me show you what I found. Okay, so here's what I did. From is the seller and two is me. Clicked on his name and you can see he has $53,000 in there. Good for him. I don't have 53,000. I have negative 20,000 right now. This is his username and 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 you and that's kind of I have a love hate for these domain names because you're easy to find. Anyways, you can go down here and you can see the contract for the fly fish which is right here. So that's a fly fish contract. You can click on it. You can see that it's the fly fish club one and still you can see that there's no ETH in there so I, I don't know how they got I don't know how they did it but people are minting and this balance didn't go up usually it goes up and you can see the value and you can see all the failed transactions but still you still can't see anything but that's the contract you interacted with I, I like it I like that you can hide you know and people cannot what is it they can't speculate meaning a lot well here's what happens a lot people mint and they they will mint if there's a sellout so if they see the balance going up in ether then they can backwards calculate how many has been minted so if they're close to being minted then they'll buy a lot right and that's what whales do now but if you can't tell how many ether they got then you can't tell how many were minted which means that you can't play that game you guys just speculate like the whitelister so the people in the whitelisting the real fans uh, sometimes they get taken advantage of because of all the non real fans buying everything up and flipping so that's the type of game that we're looking at but we can see here clearly that he spent 8.5 ETH which is two omokases right FFOs we call them and he bought them he bought them and we click into his hashtag we can see uh, when he got it what time he got it so he got it now I believe he got it right right when the delay was over because remember on a discord in my previous video they said oh there's a delay People were like in the Discord, all angry. <laughs> like, of course, there's always a delay. But they, he got it at, at 03. So he got it at exactly when the delay ended. And he was able to mint it, guys, for very low Gui, in my opinion. He minted it for 2250 Gui, which is what I thought you would have to, you know, get through to win this gas war. But there's no way for me to edit it. So that's why I didn't want to do the gas war. That's not bad. In my other video, you will see someone paid 35,000 Gwei, $60,000 for a transaction fee. So he paid $2,000 for a transaction fee. 
that's very, very little for something like a project like this, right? Now, and then 8.5. So that's two omakases. He paid $27,000 for it. Add up to 27,000 plus the gas price. He paid 30,000 for those two. You divide it by two, right? $15,000. Now he sold it to me for 19,600 minus 19,600. He made one point, basically he made one and a half ETH, right? Or two E's off this thing because 1.7 ETH after fees. That's how these, well, he's not a bot. He's a real person, I think. Not bad for him. He made 6,000 in one day. I, I don't know if he holds the other one. Let's take a look. Because we're nosy, we clicked on this and we found out that he sold the other one as well. He sold it to this dude right here. That's not me. Let's see how much he sold it for. He sold this one for 7.1. So even more money. He made 2.6 ETH off of this one. He made close to like eight, $9,000. Not a bad day, my man. 15,000, oh yeah, like close to 15,000 today. If we go back here, I'm glad I didn't mint because I would have lost. If I got two omokases, which I wanted to go for, you need at least like, I would say four to five ETH more than the sale price. So the sale price is 8.5 add four to five ETH on top of that for gas. So he would have to be willing to go up high because the contract wouldn't execute if you didn't have enough runway. Sometimes they let you through. That's why there's failed transactions because people, they execute it, but they don't have enough gas to get through the whole thing. However, this person definitely has enough gas. He has $53,000 in his account now. And man, congratulations to this guy. Uh, I don't know if he got more. Let's take a look if he got more. At least in this address, he only has one. As you can see, 8.5 ETH there. He does not have more up here. If he got more, he would have made more money. If he did this a couple more times, he could have had $100,000 a day. And that's why bots attack the crap out of discords and mint days because they know how to print money. I don't think this guy's a bot. He's just a flipper. I'm telling you, I'm in the wrong game. I need to be flipping. I need to have like five wallets, you know, five VPNs, going in with heavy ETH, just call my whale friends and, you know, have them sit next to me and just print $100,000 days. Now, I, that's, I don't think I'm going to do that, but that's very interesting. They're not doing anything illegal. They're just buying stuff, right? They're taking it out from the real community people, the real Gary V fans. I'm a Gary V fan. I lived in New Jersey, New York. Gary V, he's in New Jersey. He's a Jets fan. I live there. But there's some people that, you know, it makes sense. I, mean, I ain't mad at those people. They're, they're playing the game. And and for me, it sucks because I buy all these concert tickets and they're eaten up by bots. So it doesn't only happen in the NFT world. It happens in real life. I can tell you so many stories. I've been to so many concerts and I, I have not once gotten a regular price concert ticket. I have to get them off of Ticketmaster and Vivid Seats because bots eat them all up. If you, can't, if you can't beat them, join them. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, I tried to play detective and try to find where these transactions are in the contract and I couldn't find it. Let me show you. I downloaded all the transactions from the contract because, you know, I'm crazy like that. And I tried to find it and I could not find this transaction. I found the other transaction of where they sent the NFT, but I could not find the one where it showed, you know, the $2,000 in gas that this guy paid. Very interesting stuff. I found this TX hash, but I could not find this one. So I don't know. I don't know how they did it. Someone comment down below if you know how they did this. This is very interesting stuff. This is a new development in Mint Wars, Gas Wars to me. Uh, which is great, you know, because they can hide how much the minters are, are minting out um, and, you know, help reduce the bots a bit. Okay, and never mind, there's way too many videos for giveaways. So I'm going to pick them offline or my next video. <laughs> I didn't want to keep you guys for too long, but subscribe, follow along, comment because I would be picking winners from a ton of videos to give away stuff. I hope you enjoyed this alpha. Share it with your friend who loves, you know, seafood, who loves NFTs, who doesn't think NFTs are real. Share this video with them. Let them know it's coming. And this is the way that's going to help Pro progress and evolve small businesses and also medium-sized businesses so excited for how nft is going to evolve the world thank you guys so much for joining me as always stay healthy stay fire peace